Welcome. In a previous video, I went over installing the ESP IDF on a Mac and I compiled Hello World. And I'll put a link in the description of my ESP32 playlist where you can find that video. And it's Espressif ESP32 C3 Hello World using Mac. And in that video, I mentioned that I was unable to get it working on my Mac with the Apple Silicon, my M1 Mac. And I've since found out how to do that. So in this video, I'm going to go over how I got that installed. So this video is meant to add on to that video. So you'll probably want to watch that video also. So if you are looking to buy an ESP32 dev board, I'll put a link in the description of the hardware I'm using. And if you use those links, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So I'm on my Mac mini with the M1 processor and I have the guide for setting up the IDF and IDF is the IOT development framework. So it's a software that allows you to compile software to run on these microprocessors. And I'm going to go through this and I'll go over the issues where I had trouble and how I fixed them. So I have a terminal here. I'll install pip and I'm guessing this is already installed. So I'll just copy and paste these commands in. Next it says install CMake and Ninja Build. So if I try and run this command and I have Mac ports installed, it will eventually give me an error, or it does right away. So I'll clear my screen here. So I've already done this, so I'm going to type sudo port clean CMake. I must not have had it removed. I tried to remove everything before I ran this, so let me try this again. There we go. So it's asking us if we want to install the dependencies. I'll say yes. It found some broken ports. And I don't know if these will all show up on your instance. I tried to remove the software that I had installed previously before I made this video, but I may not have done a perfect job of that. But you can hit yes as needed to make everything go forth. Okay, so the install failed, and you might have noticed there's a warning here about the macOS 11.2 SDK, and this doesn't seem to be causing me any problems. It keeps popping up, and I googled and tried to fix this, but I haven't been able to, so I just ignore it. So I'll clear the screen here. So I can type CMake here, and I can type DFU util, and those both run, but if I type Ninja, it does not. So Ninja did not install. So I can try and install it on its own. I can type sudo port install Ninja, and this will fail. So it looks like Kerberos 5 is maybe causing the problem. So I don't really want to mess with that. So I'll clear my screen here. So what I just did is went to this Ninja build on GitHub, and I'll put a link in the description to this. I'll put a link to both of these pages, actually. And on this page, you can download Ninja. So there's Ninja for Mac, and Ninja is kind of like a build system. So if I click on this, it will download to my downloads folder. So I'll type CD space downloads, and then I can type LS, and then I'll type Ninja asterisk, and we see it here. Actually, I've already downloaded it. I'm going to remove that one. There we go. So I'll unzip this with unzip and it creates this ninja binary and I need to put this somewhere. So I'm just going to put it where Mac ports would have put it. So I'll type sudo space cp space ninja space forward slash op forward slash local forward slash bin forward slash I'll hit enter here and this will copy ninja into that directory. So now I can type ninja and then help. And it says it cannot be opened because Apple cannot check for malicious software. So what I'll type here is I'll type open space forward slash opt forward slash local forward slash bin and I'll look for ninja on this page and I'll right click on it and say open. And now it's asking if I want to open it, I'll say open. And I think I should be able to run this now. There we go. So we've authorized it. So now we've installed all of these prerequisites. I ran this whole command, but I didn't need to run Ninja because it didn't work anyway. But we use Mac ports to install CMake and DFU util, and then we installed Ninja manually from the GitHub repository. So now I can scroll down. I know I have the correct Python version, I'll skip that. So now it says next steps, and it says step two, get ESP IDF. So I'll click on that, and I'm in my home directory. So I'll run these commands. Okay, that finished. I'll go to the next step here. I'll paste that in. That finished, I'll run this command it's showing me, the export.sh. That's completed. Clear my screen, scroll down here. I'll go to the section set up environmental variables. I'll look for Linux and Mac. I've already run the export command, but I do want to set up this alias. So I'll copy this, 
I'll go to my terminal. I'll type open space dash E space tilde forward slash dot bash underscore profile. I'll hit enter. I'll go to the bottom of this file and I'll paste in that alias. Then I'll hit command S to save, command W to exit. So I'm using bash. If you're using the Z shell, you'll need to set up a Z shell alias. I'm not sure off the top of my head how to do that, but I'm sure you can Google that and find that out. So now I can type source space tilde forward slash dot bash underscore profile. I'll hit enter. You could alternatively close your terminal and open a new terminal backup, but this is just loading that profile. So with that in there, now we can type get underscore IDF to pull the environment up. So anytime we open a terminal, we want to use this ESP IDF. We want to run that command. So let's do the start a project now. So I'll clear my screen. I want to go to the ESP directory. So we're just actually moving down a directory. And then I will copy the hello world project to the current directory. You can see it here. So I'll scroll down. I'll go to the Linux and Mac OS. I will go into the hello world directory. I'll set my target and I'm actually using the S3 microcontroller right now. So I'll hit that. I said S3, I think I mean S2. There we go. Okay, I'll scroll down to build the project and I'll run the idf.py build. There's my screen to start this. idf.py space build. So this will tell us if our install worked of Ninja and the other software. Okay, that completed, so that looks good. There's my screen here. I'll type ls space dash l forward slash dev forward slash cu asterisk, and we can see our serial device here, so I'll copy that. I'll type idf.py space dash p space, and then I'll paste in the port, and then I'll type flash. So this will send it over to the microcontroller. So next we'll run the same command with monitor. And now we can see that it's running. It's running hello world, it counts down 10 seconds and then runs Hello World again. So to summarize this, we have the instructions on the ESP32 or the Espressif website, and you essentially want to go through these same instructions, except for when you get to the area where you install the software, well, it's the Mac page. So you go through the instructions, you install the prerequisites, and instead of installing Ninja on here, you want to download it from the Ninja build on GitHub and install that manually. And if you do that and follow the rest of the instructions, you should have the ESP IDF running just as you would on an Intel Mac. So I hope this is helpful to some people, but that's all for this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.